Yeah. Hey, you know, Passover in the Jewish uh, religion is right around the corner, Alice. Yeah, and folks are getting ready by preparing traditional foods and getting their customs all in order. So we have Rabbi Mendy Deitch from the Chabad of the East Valley here with us. Thank you for waking up. We know it's Thank a little you. bit early. You're going to be telling us uh, all about kind of what goes into preparation and everything. So what do we have going on here yeah, we're today? We're going to make matzah, right? We're going to make matzah, exactly. Okay. Matzah is the traditional Passover food that we eat, the staple of the Passover holiday. And it resembles the uh, reminds us of the exodus of the Jews leaving Egypt, leaving in haste. They didn't have time mm -hmm. for the bread to rise. Okay. So the matzah, therefore, is flat and round. They you know, took the flour and water, mixed it together, and they put they put it on the backs, and then it baked in the, under the sun. And so oh. we're gonna today. What we're gonna do is we're going to teach the children how to make matzah from scratch. If you take wheat, you break off, take out the kernels. You, know, you break it off. You take out the kernels. Okay. Yeah. And then you grind it into flour, and then you mix the flour and water together. You have 18 minutes from when the flour and water come together for it to come out of the oven ready made. Otherwise, really? it begins to rise. Oh, really? So, yeah. I had oh. no idea. And you're actually putting on an event today that's going to actually teach. And it doesn't have to be just children, right, Rabbi? No, everyone enjoys okay. it. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I'm, I'm uh, watching and learning. Let's also move yes. over here, Rabbi, and explain what's, uh, what we have over here, my friend. Okay. So right here we have a traditional Passover Seder table, if you would. Okay. Uh, we have the four cups of wine. We have the, the, sh the holiday candles. Mm -hmm. And we also have the traditional Seder plate. Yeah. Uh, on the Seder plate, this is, um, has the six different foods that we eat during the holiday. And each of the, you know, it seems a little funny, the plate. But the truth is, the reason why he's there is to encourage the children to ask questions. Why do we do oh. this? Why? We want to engage the children. That's really the theme of the holiday, is the children should be involved in the holiday. So you have the egg, for example, which resembles one of the sacrifices that were brought in the times of the temple, but also teaches us of the cycle. How now we're slaves, we're going to wait for the redemption, for the final redemption. You have the uh, vegetable that we eat here. We have an onion, so people mm -hmm. use parsley oh. or a potato, either one. And that also resembles the idea of growth and uh, for the future. Here we have, you know, this is called the charosa which is a mixture of nuts and wine hmm. and okay. apples and it almost looks like mortar and that's to resemble the bricks that the Jewish nation really? had to build in oh. Egypt with their own hands that to build the um, you know for the Egyptians and then we have the bitter herbs which of course is reminds us of the bitterness the hardships that they had in exile in in Egypt but the point of the slavery is not so much to remind us of the slavery but really that we should remember as Jews and as human beings we have to remember that people are suffering around the world and we have what can we do to free them and to celebrate the freedom rabbi what's the uh, most common misconception you believe is out there as it relates to Passover you know we, if Passover is uh, traditionally you know, always about the, a lot of people think it's all about the ten plagues, and it is sure. about that also, the plagues that were uh, brought upon the Egyptians mm -hmm. uh, by God. But the concept really behind it, the theme behind it, I believe, is Passover, is a holiday of freedom. The idea of going from one point of slavery and going to freedom, and not just in historical perspective, but also on a personal perspective. You know, what does it mean for me? How do, how do I live my life? How am I confined to my own limitations? And how am I going to grow as a human being in my own, go out of my own bubble, my own box, right. so to speak? Rabbi, it's yeah. always a pleasure to talk to you. Always a wealth of information and, uh, and, and explaining so much to yes. so many of us. So we yeah. thank you so much much for yeah, your time. Tell us, and, tell and, us again uh, about event. your event. The event happening today. Do we have yeah, that information? Just give us a uh, reminder. Us so today at uh, 1140, we're going to have the model matzah factory mm -hmm. at the Chabad of the East Valley, the Pali Chabad Center at 875 North McClintock. And adults and children are welcome to come. They'll participate in mixing the dough, and mixing the flour, rolling out the dough, yeah. and coming out of the oven ready. And a great okay. education for everybody, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, Rabbi, exactly. thank you so very thank much. You. Allison, yeah, thank uh, you for being with us. Yeah, we're